So how can we figure out exactly what this car is? The first thing that I do when I take a look at a 69 Camaro is look at the VIN number located right here. The first four digits are 1243, which means that it's a V8 car from the factory. Now we can't tell exactly what engine this car had, but if it said 1233, then it would be a six cylinder car. The next thing we can take a look at is the N located in the middle of the VIN. That means that this car was built in the Norwood assembly plant, and if it was built in Los Angeles, it would have an L in this location. The rest of the numbers on here are indicative of the sequence order of the car was built. Since this one starts with a 7-0, that means that it was built in October of 1969. Underneath the driver's side door, we can see a proportion valve on this car. Proportion valve was used in 1969 on disc brake 12 volt cars from the factory. Doesn't mean that it was a Z28, but this is an original piece. It looks like the state of Texas, and it means this car had disc brakes and a 12 volt from the factory. And it doesn't stop short on the cow. The first thing I want to show you is called a Muncie hole, and that's this hole located right here. It was used for Muncie transmissions, which was a four speed, something that was required on a Z28. The second hole we can take a look at is this one right here below the fuse box. This fuse box has been filled in by a plate on the back side, but the hole is still, is still here. That means that this car had a tack from the factory, something else that was needed on a Z28. If there was a hole located here, that would mean that it was an RS car or it had hideaway headlights, which this car did not. We can also tell that this car was not a cow hood car because it would have another hole in the firewall in this area for you to open and close the cow. The second most important thing on the cow is going to be your hidden VIN numbers. And the first one's located over there, right below that big circle, and that would be underneath the heater box. And you might not be able to see it on the car that you find. However, there's a third hidden VIN, and that one's this one. That one's located here, underneath the cow. Usually, usually right below this first pillar right here, but it just has the sequence number for the car, and it matches the one on the dash, which is seven five or seven zero five eight one eight. Something else that's cool is that this car had dual exhaust from the factory, which was required on all Z twenty eights. If we take a look, we can tell by the plate behind the rear tire. That plate has two holes and it was used to hang on the dual exhaust and there's another set of holes on the on the passenger side as well. Those holes have actual nuts behind it so that you can screw in the hanger and it's very hard to fake. Now that I'm down here we can talk a little bit about this car's rear end. Earlier in the video I told you that this car would have had a 12 bolt from the factory because it had the proportion valve still on the side of the car. If we count the bolts around the differential they only add up to 10. If it had a 12 volt, it would have a bolt here and it would have a bolt here. That's just a simple way to tell. If it's a 10 bolt, you just have one in the middle. Now the leaf springs on this car are a mono leaf spring, which is incorrect for a Z28. But if we inspect it a little bit further, we can tell that the previous owner just kind of threw this up in here to make the car a roller. So it's not original from the factory. The most important thing that we can do for a Norwood assembly built car is actually remove the rear seat and take a look at the bulkhead. Right here we can see that there's an X and that there's a 3. It's in a blue grease pen and sometimes they're in yellow. And what that means is that this car was an X33, which means it was a Z28 from the factory. Now you could also find an X7 here and that would be a Z28 as well. You could find an X2, which would be a big block car, an X4, which would just be a regular plain Jane Camaro, an X1, or an X6. That would also be a big block car as well. That was only found in the Norwood assembly plant, and if your car was built in Los Angeles, it would not have this code on here at all. Now that we've learned that this is an X3 car, or an X33Z28, there's, there's a couple little things left that we have to confirm. On an X33 car, it would have had gills from the factory, and we can see here that this car has two holes on the top and two holes on the bottom for the gills in the side of the car. This car has the original quarter panels, also, the X33 had an appearance package, and if we take a look at the pedals, which one has disc brakes, which is correct, and two, we can see that there's little chrome pieces around each one. Now that was also included in the appearance package on an X33 car, and that's correct. In 69, Z28 Camaros had a specific pitman arm length, and that's located right here, and they measured from center to center at 5.8 inches, and this one measures correct. We do know that this car was an October of 69 build, 
and by then all Z28s were required to have a front spoiler from the factory. Now if we take a look at the front spoiler on this car, which doesn't have one, and the front fascia is actually plastic, we can tell that this is original to the car because it has a little teeny pinhole right here that was used to brace the actual spoiler from the factory, confirming that this is a real Z28 Camaro. To go over everything that we talked about, again, I bought this car at night, the owner told me it wasn't a Z28, I brought it home in the rain, and I really didn't know exactly what I had until three days after I purchased the car. The first thing that I did was go to the VIN number and go over everything exactly that I just explained with you guys. Hopefully, this gives you an idea of what to look for on your Camaro, or any Camaro that you might find in the junkyard, driveway, or maybe someone's barn. If you're interested in learning more about cars like this, in this condition, please consider subscribing to the channel.